Let us now look at another popular black box technique for testing. This is called boundary value analysis, or BVA. Boundary value analysis is a black box test design technique in which test cases are designed based on boundary values. This technique is based on the presumption that errors lurk at boundaries. BVA is based on testing at the boundaries between partitions. If you have ever done range checking, you are probably using the boundary value analysis technique. Even if you weren't aware of it, we have both valid boundaries and invalid boundary. Boundary value is nothing but an input value or output value which is on the edge of an equivalence partition or at the smallest incremental distance on either side of an edge. For example, the minimum or maximum value of a range. We will try and understand BVA using the following example. A program which accepts a number in the range minus 100 to plus 100. There would be three sets of valid equivalent partitions, minus 100 to minus 1 being the negative range. The second class would just consist of 0. The third class would include values between 1 to 100, the positive range. For each range, there are minimum and maximum values at each boundary. For the negative range, the lower boundary is minus 100 and the upper boundary is minus 1. At each boundary, three conditions should be checked. For the lower boundary, the values that need to be checked will include minus 101, minus 100, minus 99, minus 2, minus 1. The upper boundary of minus 1 the values that need to be checked will include minus 1, 0, plus 1. Similarly, for the positive range, we have a lower boundary of 1 and upper boundary of 100. The values therefore needed to test these boundaries will include 0, 1, 2, 99, 100, 101. In above example, we can observe some duplication in values for the test data. When we remove those duplicate inputs, our final input conditions will be minus 101, minus 100, minus 99, minus 1, 0, 1, 99, 100, 101.